I'm going to be filming one of my favorite types of videos and that is unboxing mystery fidget toys. I just received this package from Mrs. Bench at my front doorstep and I just could not wait another minute to see what is inside. It is really heavy and I am so excited to see what she put inside of here. Speaking of Mrs. Bench, I actually have a huge announcement for you guys and I have been waiting to tell you about this for months now. So if you guys didn't hear the news, Mrs. Bench is opening an in-person fidget shop in Sarasota, Florida and I'm going to be there to do a meet and greet with Mrs. Bench and Rebecca Rogers on July 29th from 12 to 4 p.m. And I cannot wait, you guys. I'm going to get to see Mrs. Bench's fidget store in person. But most importantly, I'm going to get to meet you guys, my favorite people in the whole entire world. I will have the link to sign up in the description box below. There's also gonna be really fun things like hair braiding, face painting, cookie decorating, and many other things. It is going to be a great time. So again, make sure you go check the link in the description box below to sign up. Okay, so I am going to cut this open and I really don't know what's in here. Uh, Mrs. Bench texted me and asked, do you want to know what's inside or do you want it to be a surprise? I said, surprise me. I love a good mystery. So, oh, okay. I am so excited. Let's see. Oh my gosh. This is stuffed to the max with cool things. I don't even know where to start. So wait, what is this? This is so awesome. <gasps> so this is a fishbowl slime and I have never seen anything like this before. No way, that looks so real. Oh my goodness gracious. I feel like I have pet goldfish now. Like we actually need to name these. Ow! Ah! <laughs> okay, that hurt. I was a little too excited and I'm gonna go get a band-aid. I, ow, okay, I'll be right back. A few moments later. Sorry about that, you guys. I was trying to get this open too quickly and the plastic cut me. We're all good now. I was just way too eager. Um, can you blame me though? I mean, how cool is this? So pretty much this is a clear slime and there are little goldfish in the center. So I'm going to take it out and look at this, you guys. <gasps> This is so neat. What should we name the two goldfish? One is like slightly darker than the other and I think it's also a little bit bigger. So what should we name the dark orange one and what should we name the lighter orange one? Comment down below. It doesn't have a scent. It literally is like water, but slime. It's so neat. I have to admit, this is actually one of my new favorite slimes solely because it looks exactly like a fishbowl and it's so unique. I love this. You guys should definitely go get it for yourselves. But anyways, I'm going to reach in and grab something now. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this is so neat. Okay, so guys, I have never had a squishy caterpillar like this before. It's purple and blue and you could stretch it, you could squeeze it. You could sniff it because I sniff fidgets. Um, <laughs> it's just so addictive, but um, this one doesn't really smell like much. He is so cute. Now, what do we have here? <gasps> oh! oh my gosh, you guys. I love axolotls. Wait, oh my gosh. These are beady buddies. They remind me a lot of PBJs. I'm definitely going to put this axolotl in my PBJ drawer back there. I'm sitting with my fidget collection today because I thought it was only appropriate for this unboxing, you know? Um, but this is definitely like one of my new favorite fidgets at the moment. Because first of all, it has my three favorite colors, pink, blue, and purple. And it's just so satisfying and soft and it's an axolotl. So I cannot wait to add this to my collection. I never want this video to end. This is so much fun. Okay, so this is the fourth fidget. Whoa, wait, it's really big. Wait a second, what in the... Oh my gosh! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hold on a second. I was not expecting to pull out something this awesome and humongous. What? I literally thought I was just gonna grab like another stress ball or something like that. But no, I pull out this colossal poppet. Oh my gosh! This is so awesome! It's a giant lizard poppet. This is ridiculously cool. So other than this jumbo poppet, I only have two others, a unicorn and a mermaid that I also got from Mrs. Bench. 
Um, but I think that this may just be my favorite. First of all, I love the colors. Literally, again, all my favorites. Pink, purple, blue, and turquoise. I was not expecting this to be in here. Like, I can't express that enough. It's kind of like when you're fishing and you know you're just chilling thinking you're gonna catch something small and then your fishing pole droops down and you're like oh my gosh what do i have here that's what that reminded me of because again it was a complete surprise let's listen to the pops I love this. I'm literally going to hug it. I pretty much can hug it for real though because it's so big. Okay, I'm just being weird now. I love this thing. I feel like my fidget collection is going to be like 10 times cooler after this video. But now we're going to reach in yet again and see what we get. Ooh, what is this? So apparently this is a Gold Rush slime and it is so stunning. I'm going to open this very carefully. I'm not going to cut my finger again. You guys know I love slimes. So I just wanna see what the texture of this is gonna be like. There's a little bubble, let's pop it. Yes, I have to smell everything I touch. This is absolutely stunning, you guys. There's literally little pieces of gold sparkle inside. It's like a clear putty based slime with golden sparkles and I am just so mesmerized by this. I'm gonna see if I can make a fart noise with it. <laughs> wow, mission accomplished. <laughs> okay, so it's like a two in one. It's gorgeous and glamorous, but you could also make fart noises with it. So it's the best of both worlds. What can I say? Moving right along, we have, oh, this is so cute. I don't have this yet. So this is a pop rocker. If you guys have seen my Learning Express videos, you've probably seen things similar to this before. Um, basically, these are three-dimensional poppets and there's different characters. So we have Chrissy the cow, but I love things like this, especially when there's like a little collector's guide on the back. As you guys know, I love collecting things. Evidently, look around. So I love the concept of collect them all. I think it's really fun and it makes you feel like you have a mission you know to complete the fam and collect them all so wow okay so this one is like more mini than the ones that I've seen at Luring Express but I feel like the pops are better and more solid like watch this you guys ready I'm trying to get it to focus three two one yes and I love that this is a keychain I don't think the other ones are keychains and it has like little suction cups at the bottom. So this is so fun and I definitely wanna collect them all. Moving right along, let's see what else we have in this package. Oh, I like what I see. It's a little kawaii dumpling squishy. So I am going to open this up right now. This is absolutely adorable and so satisfying and it smells so good. It has that classic fidget smell. Like if you know, you know, it just smells like a beach ball. Just look at the coloring, you guys. It's the most beautiful ombre pastel rainbow design. And the little face is just so cute. And I love the little multicolored stars on her cheeks and the eyelashes. This is definitely one of my favorite things that I unboxed so far. And we are still not done. So I'm going to reach in the box once again. And let's see. Wait, I'm actually going to see if I can guess what it is. Is it like a water wiggler? I don't know, because it's in plastic packaging. <gasps> I was kind of right. Okay, so I've also seen these at Learning Express. These are the two flippin' cute water wigglers. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is, this is so adorable. Okay, so I was about to rip it open. I was very tempted. But then I saw on the back that basically, if you guys know what a water wiggler is, it slips in and out of your hand. And they're really fun. Basically, this is a mystery water wiggler that's plush and it's two-sided. So when you flip it one way, it has one face. When you flip it another way, it has a different face. And these are the different options that you could get on the back. So there's peanut butter and jelly, bacon and eggs, popcorn and soda, hot sauce and a burrito, burger and fries, pancakes and syrup, milk and cookies and donuts and coffee. I am crossing my fingers that I get either the milk and cookies and I really like the donuts and coffee. Um, also PB and J, you can't go wrong with that. The only one that I hope I don't get 
is the hot sauce and burrito because I don't really like hot sauce or burritos. Watch me get that one. If I do, it's okay. I'm not going to be sad, but um, let's hope that I get one of those three. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Ah! I feel like I'm gonna get the pancakes and syrup one though. I just have a gut feeling, but let's find out. Oh, wait, this is cute. Okay, so I got the burger and fries. Okay. So as you guys can see right now, it's on the fries side. And then if you just play with it a little bit, it flips into a burger. How cute is that? I love this and I love the little faces. This is just taking fidget toys to a whole nother level of awesome and fun. I know fidgets have been around for a while, but I still get just as excited when new ones come out. And that's why I still love them and I still collect them because they keep evolving. There's always something new, you know? It's just, it's so not boring. And I just love the creativity and the fun factor behind this. So anyways, I feel like I've been blabbering on about that for a while. Let's move on to the next thing. Whoa, what is this? The best stretch toy. Stretch, squeeze, pull, repeat. Okay, don't mind if I do. Look at that little unicorn. He's like... <laughs> he looks like he's been sleeping for a really long time. It's time to wake him up. Look how cute. Okay, I'm gonna see how far I can stretch it. Whoa, pretty far. This is so neat. I do have other stretchy fidgets. They are right next to me actually. So I'll show you guys some other ones that I have. I've got this green guy. Definitely not as cute. Um, I had a carrot somewhere in here. Yeah, I have a stretchy carrot. I have a pink stretchy dolphin and many others. So I am so happy to add this to my collection. It is definitely the cutest stretchy fidget toy that I own now. Believe it or not, we are still not done. So the next thing is, oh, so these are all macaroons or macarons. I think it's macarons. Macaroons are the coconut ones and macarons are the ones that are colorful, different fillings. I believe so. That's what Callie told me anyways. Um, so we are going to open these. First of all, let's just talk about the packaging. It's so vibrant and fun. Two seconds later. Oh, okay. So at first I thought that these were going to be stretchy and squishy, but then when I took them out of the packaging, I'm like, no, that is not stretchy or squishy. Basically on the inside, there is like putty. As I'm opening these, I want you to comment down below what your favorite macaron flavor is. Mine is definitely raspberry. Let's try out the pink one first. I'm curious to see if it's scented. I don't think it's scented, but this is the putty. It's very, very neon. I think the concept of these are really, really fun. Ooh, guys, I love this blue one. It looks like a jellyfish. Oh my gosh, you know what these remind me of also? They remind me of Pretty Patties from SpongeBob. This one is so pretty as well. I love them. And I think my favorite one is the pink one. There is still more inside of this box. Seriously, I wish that this was bottomless because I could do this all day long. It never gets boring, but okay. Next up we have, <gasps> no way. Guys, this is so cute. So pretty much that's supposed to be a mommy dog and then the little babies. Oh my gosh. I just know that when I was younger, I would have been absolutely obsessed with this. I'm curious to see what these feel like. Ooh, okay. So these have like a very sticky texture to them. And I know some people don't like sticky fidgets, but I love them. Everyone's different when it comes to fidgets. And I, for one, really love the sticky texture. I think it's really fun. They do collect hairs more easily, but nothing a little soap and water can't fix, of course. This is the mommy one. And then the little babies. I'm gonna bring all of them out right now. Look how cool that is. Ah, I love them. I think I'll probably end up putting these in my mochi drawer because they remind me of mochis, except better quality. So you know I have to ask, what are we going to name these puppies and the mama? I need names for them. So comment below your name suggestions and I will heart your comment if I like your name choices. Don't be sad if I don't heart your comment though. It probably means that I just haven't seen it, but I would love to hear all of your ideas. Reaching in again, we have, what? Hand slimatizer. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love this. I love this so much because not only is it slime that's very, very unique, but you could prank your friends with it. So, okay, let's see if it actually comes out of the top easily. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, that is so hilarious because then when you try to rub it in, it's like, wait, what the heck? Why is it so jiggly? Is it expired? Like what is wrong with this hand sanitizer? It doesn't smell like hand sanitizer, by the way. I also am super happy that she sent me this because you guys have probably seen my YouTube shorts or my TikTok videos where people give me different emojis that they think I don't have in my fidget collection. And people are always commenting like the soap slash hand sanitizer emoji. And before today, I didn't have that in my collection. But now I can defeat more people in the comment section if they ever comment that emoji, which they do. But seriously, that is one of my new favorite things that I unboxed. And I feel like I keep saying that with everything I pull out, but truthfully, that is so creative. And again, something that I have never seen anywhere else. There's still more, you guys. So next we've got this. Ooh, it's called a Night Sea Globby Squeeze Ball. What? I believe this glows in the dark. Filled with squeezy jelly beads. That's so unique. Like the coloring of that. Oh my gosh, it's like a neon magenta and then there's black water beads on the inside. I love it. Stress balls are definitely one of my favorite types of fidgets. So I cannot wait to add this to my collection. And then we have this guy. And he is supposed to be like a Pop-Tart bear and he has a really cool texture. So basically it feels like there's little DNA balls inside of him. Yeah, it says bubble stuffed breakfast bear. So, oh, there's other ones you can collect too. So I have Penny the Pop-Tart. I really want the orange juice bear. That is adorable. I'm gonna take his tag off because I always forget to take tags off of my fidget toys. Um, but he is so adorable and very unique. Looks like I have three things left in this box. The next item is, oh, that is awesome. It is a Twinkie Squishy. I saw this at Learning Express so many times and I wanted to get it, but I never did. So I had to sniff it. It doesn't really smell like anything. It smells like, okay, this is like really oddly specific, but this thing smells like the top of a plastic baby doll's head. Yeah, that is so weird, I know. Um, Oddly specific, but yeah, so it's a little squishy Twinkie and I love his little face and his cheeks and his smile and it's all so cute and perfect. I am going to add him to my drawer of fidget foods, which is right here. So I'm just gonna actually add him right now. And um, let's grab the next thing. Ooh, so this is absolutely adorable. It's a little yellow dog squishy. I'm going to take the tape off. I can't think of what type of dog this is. Is it a chihuahua? I'm gonna open it and give you guys a better look. But these are called Mega Jigglies and they're basically like jumbo mochis. And I love mochis. I have an entire drawer full back there. Um, but what kind of dog is this? Is it a chihuahua? Guys, help me out. If you know dogs, let me know what type of dog you think this is. He's seriously so cute. Hi, puppy. All right, you guys. So there is one more thing left in this box and let's see what it is. We got a... These are so cool. I've never seen these before. So these are also called Jigglies, AKA Mochis. And these are Disney princess themed. So, oh my gosh, wait, this is so neat. All right, so I got Princess Jasmine and Princess Ariel, but look on the back of the packaging, you can see the other ones that you could collect. So they're all Disney characters. There's Mickey, Pluto, Minnie, Daisy, Jasmine, Ariel, Tiana, Rapunzel, Pooh, Stitch, Nemo, and Lightning McQueen. So personally, if I could pick the next two that I receive, I would pick, ooh, that's tough. Probably Stitch and Nemo or Stitch and Mickey or Minnie and Mickey. I don't know. That's like really hard. They're just all so fun and cute. And I want to get all of them. Look how satisfying that picture right there looks. That's what it would look like if you had the whole gang. And I really would love to do that. I have not seen these anywhere else, but I do know that you could find them on fidgettoysplus.com, which is Mrs. Bench's fidget shop. And I will have that in the description box below. So this is Ariel and this is Jasmine and they are so cute. I love them. Anyways, you guys, that was all for this mystery fidget toy unboxing from Mrs. Bench's fidget shop. If you guys like this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also PS, Side note, I'm going to show you my top three favorite items that I got from this package. 
It was really hard to narrow it down to three, but I would say my favorites are for sure the goldfish bowl slime, because again, how creative. I am just obsessed with the idea of this. I also love this hand sanitizer slime. It's just so clever. I love unique items and it doesn't get much more unique than this. And then also, of course, I couldn't leave out the axolotl. It's so satisfying and cute. And I know I said I was only going to pick my top three favorites, but I have just one more favorite, okay? It is this giant lizard poppet. I mean, for real, how could I not include this? It's amazing. But I seriously loved every single item that was included. So thank you so much, Mrs. Bench, for sending this to me. And again, you guys, I really, 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 really want to meet as many of you as I can on July 29th for the grand opening of Mrs. Bench's Fidget Toy Shop. So the link to sign up is in the description box. Meeting you guys is my favorite thing in the entire world. And plus, you could also go shopping for fidget toys and you could do the other fun activities that are going to be offered. It's going to be a great day. So anyways, I love you all to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye! Mwah.